I have long worried about the violence from the left in the United States of America, not just because I worry about people getting hurt, and I do, not only because I think it's bad for the country, it is, I worry because eventually there is going to be an extreme response from the right. It, we're not there yet. I don't want to ever get there. It's why I've been so loud about putting down this Antifa Black Lives Matter crap early and often, because I'm worried it's going to give rise to another white supremacist movement of some kind. We don't want that. We don't need that, obviously. Or even if it's not white supremacist, some kind of violent movement on the right. You allow leftist bullies to tear through American cities like this, murder and assault Trump supporters like this, burn things down, you step back and allow that for too long, don't think that you're the only power around. That's an extreme environment. I read a story this morning about a Louisville shop owner who has slept in his shop now for over 100 days just trying to keep his business alive laying there in his shop with a weapon in his hands. That's an extreme environment. That's why I've been begging so loudly to stop this insanity. And that's why I actually worry about this new rhetoric we have. Well, not necessarily new, but they're ramping it up now about white supremacists. Do you denounce white supremacy? Are you a white supremacist? Well, one, let's be clear about something. There is no powerful white supremacist movement in any way in the United States of America. There's not. And thank God for that. I mean, we obviously don't want one. Anytime you've ever seen a white supremacist rally, it's been what? Five fat KKK guys on the corner somewhere surrounded by police officers to make sure all the citizens yelling at them don't beat the crap out of them. They're not not what they were. They're nothing. You're scorned, shamed, as you should be. However... We're going to get one. Keep poking at people. Keep prodding at people. We're going to get one. And I look at how the press has treated groups like Proud Boys. And I'll be honest, I don't even know who the Proud Boys really are. It's just not something that's ever interested me. I'm not anti-Proud Boy. I'm not pro-Proud Boy. I just don't know what they are. I do know this about them, though. I have friends who know them. And I know that they come from all races And they show up lots of times and get in street fights with the Antifa guys. Okay? They're not out there preying on innocent citizens like Black Lives Matter is, like Antifa is. You can disagree with showing up and getting in street brawls with Antifa. That's fine. But that don't make them white supremacists. And yet... We're calling them white supremacists. We have the American media on the national stage demanding Donald Trump denounce them as white supremacists. Well, they're not white supremacists now. Their leader's black. I think he's black and Hispanic. But we're going to get one that is if you don't clean this stuff up. Hey, thanks so much for watching The First on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me. Like it. Subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.